We're gonna be having some Ulta fun today. Let's get into our video all about what I'm loving at Ulta. Hi friends, today I'm bringing you some very fun products from Ulta that I am loving currently. And I also am getting to do this video as a collab. I am so excited to do this collab because we have some fantastic women that are gonna be joining it and so much variety here. And so I'm gonna read this off of my phone because I don't wanna forget anybody and I really don't want to booger up anybody's names either. And for some reason, little man, thinks that he just needs to join me again. He's having a day where I am actually filming and he's just feeling a little lonely, although he has two sisters that drive him crazy and he drives them crazy. So I have no idea why he's feeling lonely. Are you okay? Are you tired and you just wanna be by me? Yeah, he's ready to go to sleep. Okay, so the lovely ladies that are joining this collab, first of all, it's Kimberly with Pretty Over 50. Kimberly is actually the one that got this collab together, and I thank her very much for inviting me to be a part of it. And then we have Mel C's Makeup and Style. Mel is so much fun. She, Lisa Monique, who I've gotten to be friends with. Um, we follow each other, uh, each other's channels, each other's Instagram. Tamara from Tamara's Timeless Beauty. Tamara and I, again, we've gotten to be friends and Tamara and I follow each other over on Instagram. I would suggest any of you that do do Instagram that you do follow these ladies over there because they have some great content on there as well. And then there is um, Kathy from Kathy Over 50. Kathy is just a sweet gal here on YouTube as well. And we also have Kat who is at Cat's Eye Beauty Cat. She does really good in-depth reviews. I love that about her. And then you have me. And if you're here visiting me from one of those channels, I want to say thank Thank you so much for coming over. I hope that you do enjoy the content and that you do decide to subscribe. I do tons of videos about makeup for the women over 50. I do some skincare, but it's mostly makeup. And today's going to be a review about Ulta. One of the reasons that I absolutely adore Ulta is because of their point system. Because I do shop a lot for makeup, I end up getting probably maybe four times a year the $125 one where you have to build up to 2,000 points, especially if you can hit that on a 20% off coupon and you're just getting some really great items for free. And I love that about Ulta. I think that they're just one of those companies that really has figured out that their customers enjoy buying somewhere where you get a little bit of a break and you enjoy being thanked. I feel like I'm being thanked for shopping at Ulta. And so it makes me a little bit loyal to them. So let's get right into this because I have some really fun, fun products from them. I want to start out with some hair products, which I don't talk about a lot, but I've gotten a lot of questions recently about my hair because my hair is so much shorter than it ever has been on my channel and I have been enjoying my shorter hair but I found that I needed more product and I needed products that really helped it perform because I do have really fine limp straight hair but at the same time I like to have a lot of body I like to have a lot of hold this one is new to me about I would say probably a couple months it's the Kenra Nitro memory cream and it's a firm hold and it says it has a three day style memory it's number 18. I really, really like this stuff. And it comes out as a mousse, like in a dis the dispenser of a mousse. But it says that it's a cream because it is a really thick product. And even though it's a thick product, I use so such a small amount, like a dime size amount. So don't like tip it out and think it's gonna, you know, whip up like mousse does in your hand. I'll rub it between my hands. And then while it's wet, I'll just go in and, you know, get it all over and really get it in the roots and work it in the roots really good. And it just seems to hold my style. I love it. I think that it really gives me a lot of body. Now, do I feel like it has a three-day memory? No, I don't because I'm menopausal and I have hot flashes and I get really hot. And so, you know, once you sweat, your hair drops anyway. There's not a lot you can do about that. The curl's gone for me. If it's straight for you, it's probably gone too. So just so you know that, they make grandiose claims, but something that I'm liking, but it's not necessarily three-day, but it's a good product for being a styling cream or a mousse. So that product right there is a product that you can get at a lot of places. The rest of these are products that you really can only get at Ulta or online at Ulta or their own websites. Now, Nabla, I have a feeling Nabla is going to be one of those breakout 
um, companies that they just go crazy for because they do have such good products and I really have been enjoying what I've gotten from them and these are products that I've had for a long time. This one is the bronzer. I don't feel like this is a bronzer because I feel like it's a very cool toned color which I love about it. Now this one's called Soft Revenge silly name but i do love that it has that cooler tone about it but i can still get a bronzer so it's a bronze contour you know hybrid i would say i would be able to use this as my contour or as my bronzer either one i've been loving to do that in the summer it's not like it's a super creamy product or anything it actually feels quite stiff when you put your finger in here i like that about a bronzer because i find when you have too soft of a bronzer you can go in and you can get too heavy handed too quickly this just blends out so well and it just goes on so easily and you can build on it and then i also really enjoy their highlighter this is a highlighter um, called skin glazing and i love this one called ozone it is the most it's just this icy color for me and my complexion is perfect and i love there's no glitter in it whatsoever by the way this one the bronzing one more than anything it's it's very matte which i love about it but that ozone right there holy moly look at that thing beam so pretty and it just doesn't have any particles of glitter in it there is just a sheen in there and it's one of those ones that you can put across your cheeks and you know under i put them underneath my blush and it just looks like a gorgeous highlight i am wearing that one today and it doesn't show up texture i love that too another one that came very recently to ulta is good molecules if you've been with me any amount of time you know that i am in love with good molecules now they have a new glycolic toner which i've been trying out and i love i use glycolic toner every other morning you know just to help slough the dead skin and my aging skin makes my skin so soft if you got to watch my dupes video this month you will know that i love their pineapple exfoliating powder comes out in a powder form you put some water with it and you just make kind of a paste if you want to or you can just make a wash and then you go in and it just exfoliates your face so nice nice and it has um enzymes in it pineapple enzymes in it fruit enzymes that really help to slough skin gently they also have a balm that takes your makeup off so slick love their balm and my favorite thing from their line is the niacinamide brightening toner, which I have talked about to no end on my channel. Okay, and as far as the actual Ulta line, I'm actually just getting into testing a bunch of their products. I have on the mascara today, which I'll list as makeup worn, but these are the um, face tanning drops that you add to your moisturizing cream, and I'm in love with these. It gradually turns your face tan, not any sort of, you know, I put it on at night and I wake up in the morning, I'm like, whoa, I'm way tan. It's not like that. But using this every night keeps it a gradual tan instead of me just going in with a tan towel like I love and then getting the tan and then you know having it fade very quickly this keeps it just on all the time and i'm really enjoying this okay one of the brands that you can't really go in and buy unless you go into a morphe store or unless you go into ulta or online for those that's where you get morphe at and morphe kind of gets i don't know a lot of you either love it or you hate it or you don't know anything about it i did try morphe like a full face of morphe and these are the products that i came away really loving from them this one is called pink please and so it's a stack of products and the first one is a highlight it does have a tiny bit of, of, of gold particles in there just a pinpoint of um, glitter in there so that's not my favorite but the rest of this stack i'm in love with that blush right there is the prettiest baby pink i love that color of baby pink for a blush i just think it's so pretty and i've been wearing these pinks all summer long and it's been so much fun for me and then the next one is a lip balm i absolutely love this balm it's so nice it's got just a tiny bit of color in it but i've been using this at night it's so nourishing and i really really like it and then the last product in there on the bottom is a skin glaze so it's got that creamy texture to it and this one i really like because it has a tiny bit of just that skin glowing property to it and yet it has just the look of wet skin 
and that is so in right now everybody's just loving that wet skin look and that's kind of what that is because it's more of a balm i think it's a great quad to have kind of easy and portable instead of just having four different products you know floating around in your purse or your makeup bag so that's kind of fun and they do have like i think three other colors in these stacks and you know you get four products in one i love their um new cream blush i think it's so pretty it's called the wonder tint the che the cheek and the lip mousse and this one is called fyp and again it is a beautiful pink color but what i like about it particularly is because it's very saturated, but it will blend out very easily. And it does have that little bit of moussey texture, but it will dry down to a powder. And I like, I really like that about it. And they're very saturated. I like that too. So if somebody's fair or clear up to a very darker complexion, you can use these and then go ahead and build them up, which is nice to be able to find a product like that. Another line that I adore this foundation. I do have a video about this probably 18 months ago where i actually demoed this this is the authentic skin foundation from zoeva zoeva has the most beautiful brushes if you get a chance to try their brushes they are very high quality and very nice nice brushes but when i found this particular foundation i completely fell in love with it i did one of those double takes the first time i wore it and then it lasted all day and i was just like oh this is gorgeous so i wear charismatic 09 zero C. So it's a cool color and this is a really good color for me and it doesn't pull too orange. I love that about it as well, but I really enjoy the way that this sits on my mature skin. Doesn't show up any texture. It's long wearing. It's a very kind of just a very skin-like look to your skin. So it's not too matte. It's not too glowy. It hits the center right there. Almost a satiny, just natural skin look. And it pairs really well with all the other makeup that I wear. Any blush or any bronzers or powders that I put on it. It's more along the lines of a medium consistency. So it's not super creamy, but it's not super thin. It's a beautiful foundation. I really love it. And then another brand, I know that you can get Essence at other places. I I don't shop many other places, but I know that sometimes Kroger will have Essence. And then there was another company. I was thinking maybe it was at Target, but I might be misspeaking there. This is a pretty natural hydrating foundation. I love this this summer. It's been absolutely gorgeous. And um, it says that it has hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, long wearing formula with a natural coverage, natural finish, and a weightless feel to it. So I do really feel like it hits all of those and it has really good coverage, but it doesn't make you look like you have makeup on. It just makes you look like you have skin on or skin on. It just makes you look like you have natural skin that's really, that's really been made to look a little better. And it just is a beautiful foundation and i do feel like it's very long wearing and i don't feel like it oxidizes or does anything like that like, and yeah that is one that i've really loved and then another company that i've only seen at ulta but i do love them is bh cosmetics sorry i'm gonna put this down okay okay bh cosmetics has such good eyeshadow formula and i really do think that they are underrated here on youtube I love their eyeshadow formulas. This one is the Blueberry Muffin Palette. And that palette has some of the most beautiful colors that I have worked with. And it has such cool toned, pretty colors. And then the other thing about their shadow formula is that the mattes are not patchy. I really like that about them. I love wearing this gray down here and I love this periwinkle blue. I've talked about this periwinkle blue many times before. Look how saturated that little bugger is. So pretty, oh my goodness. And then their actual metallics, I love them because they are not glitter at all. They are a beautiful metallic formula and some of them are a little bit less metallic than the others. So they do have different finishes all throughout this palette, but this is so much fun. I love the shimmers. I love the mattes. The mattes are very saturated, easy to blend, and they're great. I feel like if you can pick up any of these 16 pan palettes, they had a lot of them that were like the names of the cities. Like my favorite one was um, Smitten in Switzerland. The quality in those palettes, I feel like were just so good on par way up there blushing in belly is this blush palette that has the highlighters and the blushes in it and both of these products i'm going to go with a little bit darker one here both of the products whether it is the blush or the highlighter 
are so great and so pretty and i always run out of places to show you guys <laughs> but this is just beautiful the blushes will build up they are matte but they will build up and then those highlighters oh my goodness those highlighters are so pretty i'm not doing them justice by showing that to you let me switch hands and i will put this over on the other hand here and show you how pretty that highlight is oh my goodness so beautiful and then this one is the middle blush in here and they're all so pretty and all of the highlighters are pretty these are just so saturated and so beautiful that i'm really enjoying them so then after we talk about those it's the super shock products from ColourPop. I adore their blushes, their Super Shock blushes. That's my favorite formula, but I also have a few that are the highlighters. So this first one is called Birthday Suit. Again, this is a moussey formula that goes from cream to the powder formula. And oh my goodness, you guys, this is, I can't even describe to you on camera this formula it's so different again it's that cream to powder formula it's more along the lines of being very moussey and oh i just love that color it's so pretty that one again is birthday suit and then the other one i have and this one is called prenup this is a very mauvey rose color see how much lighter it is than birthday suit but you can build it up too, but it probably would suit somebody with a fair to medium complexion a little bit more. Whereas birthday suit, you could really saturate and really make it bright, even on darker skin. And then this one is Count Me In, and this one is more along the lines of a coral pink. Um, this one is one that I wear when I'm wanting a very neutral look. And this one, again, <laughs> that moussey texture that I put my finger into, if you're wanting blush you know, to be on a lot longer, Cream to powder is great because it goes on your skin as a cream, melts in with your other makeup, and does finish out as a powder, which makes it not rub off as a cream all day long. But yeah, they're beautiful. Great texture, extremely creamy, extremely blendable. And I've talked about these over and over again on my channel. I love them. And then the other ones that I do talk about are the highlighters. This one is Smoke and Whistles. And again, I always put them so tight on because I don't want them to dry out. Smoke and Whistles is kind of your, along the lines of a golden champagne, little bit pink in there, but you can kind of see the gold in there. This one right here is called Stole the Show. And that one is probably the most creamy of any of them that I found. Maybe it's just a newer one I got, I don't know. But you can see the difference in the two. Now we got a pink color here and then kind of in Stole the Show is like a little bit of a yellow undertone, which I love as well so pretty i think those are so gorgeous and actually that is my last product i hope that you guys did enjoy this because i had a lot of fun picking out products from ulta that were specific to ulta except for the hair care products that i showed you oh let me know if there are specific products to ulta that you have purchased that you love i'd love to hear from you in the comment section i do want to say thank you again to those of you that have joined me from the other gals channels i really am really happy that you're here and i hope that you do subscribe and please go over and show all of my friends some love today. I would really love for you to do that. All of their channels are listed and linked below in the description box. So make sure that you go check that out. Give this video, please, a thumbs up on your way out of here. I love you very much. And I'll catch you all again in my very next video. Goodbye, my friends.